In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E with any Mac computer. And then I'll show you how to print and scan using the Wi-Fi. Let's get started right away. So the first step is to go on your HP printer on the screen over here, make sure it's turned on. And we need to connect it to your Wi-Fi network first. The same Wi-Fi network has your Mac is connected. So to connect your printer to the Wi-Fi, all you have to do is, well, power it on and you're gonna press on menu. Then go down the settings until you see settings. Click on this, click on network, then you're going to select Wi-Fi. It's the first option. Make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on. So that is blue. And then all we have to do is to click on Wi-Fi setup wizard. Press on the start button. Then press yes. Wait a few seconds. You're going to find a list of different Wi-Fi networks. Find yours and click on it. Click on the rectangle and now it's time to type the password. You can also have numbers and symbols. Then press OK. Submit. OK again. And now wait because the printer is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. It may take a few seconds. Just be patient. You're going to get a green check mark when everything is done. Here we go. Connection successful. Press OK. Then on your Mac computer, you're going to go on the top left corner, click the Apple logo and then select system settings. On the left side menu, you're going to go down and select printers and scanners. And then from uh, the right side, go down and select add printer, scanner or fax. This window will open and you should see your HP OfficeJet Pro 9120E series printer. Click on it, it should be in blue, and then click on Add. Wait a few seconds. It will ask you if you want to add the fax machine as well. I never using fax and I don't even have um, a landline to use it, so I'll click not now, but if you're interested, you can click Add Fax and the printer will be added to the list of other printers on your Mac computer. Now, if you want to print any documents, let's say I want to print this picture, could be a PDF file as well. You're going to open it and then on the top left corner where you see file, click and then click print. Under printer, make sure your HP OfficeJet Pro is the one selected. Then you're going to have a few other settings here you can change. Honestly, the most important one that I need to warn you is media and quality. If you click here, you have quality by default is set to normal. If you're printing pictures or anything with a lot of details, you're going to select best. This will give you obviously the best results and I'm pretty sure that you're going to see a difference. So at the end, simply press print once you're ready. Extend this over there. And here we go. We got our print out. Now let me show you how to scan. This printer has two different scanners. One on the top, the top document feeder. It's great if you have multiple pages you want to scan at the same time. And it's also able to scan on both sides of the paper. And you also have a regular scanner over here. Now let me show you how to insert paper in both of them and then we'll go on the Mac showing you how to enable this. So if you want to use the basic scanner, simply take your paper, put it facing down with the top part towards the left. And now we need to align this corner of your page, the top left corner with this corner of the scanner. So bring until both, both of them are touching. Then you can close the lid. If you're use if you're using the top document feeder, okay, with multiple pages, simply insert them with the text or the image facing up, okay, with the top part again towards the left and simply glide, okay, until you cannot glide them anymore inside. On your Mac computer, you simply need to go back in the printer's menu, okay, so open system settings, click on printer scanners, and over here where you see your office jet, click on it and then select open scanner 
On the left side, select again your Office Jet Pro. And now we're going to have a few settings we can change here. So scan mode select if you have put your paper in your document feeder or the flatbed scanner. You can select if you want in color or black and white. You can uh, select over here the resolution. So if you're scanning something, let's say an artwork, a picture, I suggest you choose 300 dpi. It will give you more details. And then you have other things you can change, including the size of your paper you're trying to scan. If you want to scan on both sides of the paper, of the page. And when time comes to save it, where do you want to save it? I have selected desktop. What name you want this file to have? You can give it any name. And the format. If you select PDF and check combine into single documents, if you have, let's say, five pages, 20 pages, they'll all be combined in one document, which is very practical. At the end, simply press scan and wait. As you see here, the top document feeder has already started taking my paper. It takes around 12 seconds. And here we go, it has been saved right over here on the desktop where I choose the scan to go. It's very simple. You don't need to download the HP Smart app to do this. I hope this video was helpful. If so, leave a like, comment down below, check my Amazon links if you want to get more ink, a new printer or, you know, other supplies. Every time you go through my links, I get a very small commission from Amazon and it helps supporting my channel. Have a nice day.